Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dragons today with me Tiny Turtle and we have been busy check it out we've got stuff ready to go so guys if you missed out last episode we bought a boat check it out it is ginormous look at the size of it it's so it's like a big floating building I don't I don't even understand how you can make stuff that big but it will hopefully help us. I can actually show you guys around. I've done a big staircase down. I've been working on this all morning. Big staircase all the way down so we can get uh, the people, the cargo, uh, the dragons, everything down here and good to go. Okay, so down here, as you can see, it is very, very, uh, very, very small. The, the roofs are pretty short, so we can have sleeping dragons down here, which is good because they are quite wide. And then I was thinking we could have, I don't know, it depends on which dragons they are, but, you know, you could have two Night Furies in here, two in here. We're going to start stocking up the ship and see what we can fit anyway. Uh, obviously, we still need to figure out the giant dragons. We don't know yet. And just basics in here. I got them to kit it out with some bunk beds. We've got all the scuba gear ready to go in case anything does happen. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the ship. I mean... I don't even know where I drive it from, actually. I probably need to sort that out. Yeah, I'm gonna need to figure out where the helm is and the, the like the captain's office. Maybe down that side. We'll check it out after. But right now, we still need to figure out how we're gonna get the Bewilder Beast and the Crimson Gorg. What we've got a few extra large, do we? Uh, one Gorg or large, one Gorg or baby medium. Okay, two extra large Bewilder Beast. It's the large dragons I'm kind of worried about. Will I get Screaming Death on there? I do not know. But let's talk to everybody first. See what's going on. And then we can start to stock up. I mean, we've got... I don't know what this cage is for. I didn't put this one here. But we've got two cows, two pigs, and two chickens. So we've got everything we need to start our farm again. Um, we've got all of the Dragon Scouts books. He wanted to bring them with him. We've got crates just full of random stuff. And then we've got everybody. Nurse Emma, what's up? I bet you're wondering what that other cage is for over there, if not farm animals. Well, I thought it would be best to have somewhere to put the baby dragons if they get restless. Also, I had a quick look around the Ark. I noticed there is no infirmary room. We will need somewhere for anyone or anything who gets seasick. Best to contain that kind of stuff to one area. Ooh, okay. That makes sense. So we're just going to need to box off a room in there for people who get seasick. And it's probably going to have to be, I think, below deck. Is is it worse for seasickness or on deck? I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that one out. General John, have you any news for me before we start stocking these dragons onto the ship? Uh, is there anything? I've been running drills with my men since the Ark arrived. They will be ready if anything tries to attack us or board our ship. Perfect! That is great thinking. I didn't even... Oh, if we get attacked, it is going to be so bad. But that's good thinking. I mean, it would be very hard to board this ship anyway because obviously it's so high. It's just a big straight wall. But yeah, if someone has dragons, it's, it's going to be a tough one. Hopefully they don't find us, whoever it is. Probably the Fire Nation. Um, speaking of the Fire Nation, Fire Nation Spy, I haven't really talked to you about this. Do you have any info maybe regarding the uh, travels for us? Ah uh, yes, the Fire Nation have a huge shipyard in the Badlands. I know the coordinates if you want to check it out. They have all sorts of ships and stuff there and if my memory serves me correctly, they have ways and means to transport giant dragons. Maybe worth taking a look. Ooh, that could help. Okay, if they've already figured out a system, I could just go, sneak in, have a little look at what they're doing, and then maybe just try copying them. That's a good idea. Thank you. Um, okay, dragon skip. We should probably get the dragons boarded and settled in, just to see the capacity of the ship. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's what I am starting to do now. So maybe I'll grab a few Night Furies, just see if they fit on board, and then... We could figure out the infirmary after. Alright, let's go. Let's go grab a few of them. So many dragons. Okay, so the biggest are obviously like Pyro and Midnight and all those. These guys caught up to Pyro, which is cool. Let's take Midnight. This was Little Lizard's favorite dragon. 
Okay, well, I may as well fly. Oh, will he fit? Will he fit? Will he fit? We may. Okay. Wow, he won't, he won't fit, will he? No. Okay, so we just need to make this a little bit bigger. Once we get. I think the Night Furies will be some of the biggest because the Storm Cutters are going to fly. The Natters are quite tall, but. I mean, if it's big enough for a giant Night Fury, it should be big enough for the Natters. Let me see. Oh, please be wide enough. Not calling you fat. Not calling you fat. Just saying. Okay, a little bit more. Ah! Fell in the ocean. Uh oh. We may need to uh, board these from above. That could work. If we, like, fly them in through a hole. Oh, main. Like, the size of the ship, and I can't even get a dragon on. Okay, please. Let that be it. So close. Maybe it's just. Maybe he's a bit too wide. Let's see. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. Let's block that in. We don't want to sink the ship before we even get going. Okay, so that should do it now. But. Okay, we're on. Now, can we get. Can we get in place? Oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to make some adjustments. Adjustments to the ship. I mean, look at the sheer size of him. I was thinking two knife furies in here. What was I thinking? Oh no. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some adjustments. Let's just get this guy on and settled, and then see what we can do. This may not be big enough. We might need two ships. All right, guys. So this is what we're gonna have to do. We had to take out a full floor in order to fit the giant night furies but it means we'd be able to pack them all in pretty close i mean they don't mind they sleep really close together anyway so if we could get one two three four we've only four i think is it four pyro yeah uh maybe five really big night furies and then the rest well they should all fit here so this will be the night fury section then up here we could probably do a little bit of the same maybe for the deadly natters uh screaming deaths we could get on here because they're they're skinny but they're tall so we could figure out a screaming death area you know what let me pack up all the dragons let's see well not all of them but let's see what we can get done and then oh then we can check it out and i want to go check out this fire nation shipyard as well see how we're gonna move the bewilder beast because that's that's the biggest question right now we could have some of the smaller Night Furies up here protecting us. That's probably a good idea. Let me let me grab a small Night Fury and just see what the difference is. Because I think that's going to make a big difference. Whoop. All the way up the top. Storm Cutters, we're having flying. So that's good. Because if we had to fit them as well, we would definitely need at least two ships. Okay, let's grab like Stardust. Okay, as you can kind of tell i've got a lot of night furies on board pretty much all of them except like the babies and it's surprisingly enough there's still a lot of space so we've got the big guys here these are the five big guys and there seems to be enough space i mean there's still a bit more space here so we could even spread them out a little bit more if they need a bit more space we could uh cordon them off a little bit give them their own kind of little areas their own pens that would work well. I've got the original four up here. We got Frost, Econ, Stardust, and Darklight. They're all going to be right outside. Hey, guys. It's a little bit cramped, but it, it works. It works. I mean, we all have to put up with what we got to put up with at the minute. <laughs> I mean, there's not much we can do about it. You know, we all have to sleep in bunk beds, but it's the way it is. And then I've got... Here we go. Let me show you. I've got some Night Furies up on deck as well because they will be great for defense if anything does happen. So we've got the family here. We've got the undead Night Fury. We've got the two Alphas over here on this side. The Alpha Light Fury and the Alpha Night Fury, of course. And then we've nothing at the back. I think I'm going to put some soldiers at the back. And then we've got the lonely um, Spotstad. Spotstad needs a name other than Spotstad. Uh, but yeah, that's all the Night Furies on board. And check it out, we've so much space left. So I think this ship is going to do the job. I think we'll be good, guys. We probably won't even need to use underneath, but I still need to figure out the gigantic dragons. That's the issue. 
that's still the issue. The big bewilder beasts. Um, we've got the baby dragons in the cage ready to go so that they don't cause too much trouble. Uh, I suppose we could... Oh, we need to get the infirmary. Let's see where we're going to put that. Um, oops. That wasn't good. Okay, I'm back. I made it back to the boat and I had a quick look and I think this is the best bet for the infirmary. It is quite tight, but uh, it is its own little space at the top underneath where our room is. See over there? So that could be perfect. Uh, Nurse Emma can set up whatever she wants in here. We'll just put a little door on this and that will be good to go. Let's actually just, will we make the door? Okay, we got a crafting table. We need... Yum. Boom, door. Infirmary complete. <laughs> Nurse Emma can sort it out. I don't really know what she wants in there. Exactly, but maybe some beds, maybe some like medical equipment, all that kind of stuff. Although you won't fit a dragon in there. Hmm, she did want it for dragons too, because she said dragons will get seasick. Uh oh. Mm, what'll I do? What'll I do? What'll I do? I could take out like this. And then close off a bit of it. I'm not sure. Because you could have dragons on either side. Let me just take this and then we'll see. We'll find out because we do need an area. I mean, if dragons are going to be seasick. They're not used to sitting on a boat rocking up and down. Okay. Now I think it is time to go and check out how the Fire Nation transport giant dragons because if we could figure that out then we can stock everyone up and we are good to go all right guys this is gonna be a stealth mission now i know i always say it's gonna be a stealth mission and i end up fighting the fire nation but hopefully we can keep it that way this time there's a lot that a lot of fire nation down there and it seems like these guys are the ships are on lava that that's insane like that, that's just crazy. Imagine trying to sail on lava. It's pretty cool though. Um, okay, I didn't know they could do that. I'm going to try get... Oh, okay. There's some ships. Try get closer. This place is huge. The Fire Nation. I don't think we could ever be as big as the Fire Nation's nation. Like, it is just insane. You see the amount of huge castles they have full of people, huge campsites, huge shipyards. Like, look at this. Okay. Um, I don't... Oh, see, this is made of bedrock. Ooh, that's how they're sailing on the lava? Would be heavy, though. Okay. Ooh, that could be something to do with... do with the giant dragons, because I don't see how they could transport giant dragons with these ships. Unless they've got something underneath, but let's have a look. <gasps> oh, okay. I survived. Ooh, it's going under. Okay, what's underneath? I need to get over there. Uh, how do I get down? Is this a roof or is this a floor? I can't tell. Let's let's go through here. <gasps> okay. You. Oh, is this big long corridors? Is this bedrock? Yeah, this is bedrock. I can't get through this. Okay, they've got some good security here. Interesting. They're stepping up their game. Maybe it's the infernal force again. Alright, let's go this way. Because it looks like it leads this way, but I'm kind of... Ooh. I'm kind of scared that there's going to be fire nation guards down there and they'll see me so easily. Oh, look at this guy. Okay. So they are towing them in cages. Just a big giant tow. Okay. Is there any... Okay, there's fire nation guards around. I've got to be careful. Oh, I'm going to go from pillar to pillar. Oh, no. Oh, I knew it would happen. Oh, well. Okay. Ooh, they're double towed. So that sails out, pulls that, and that pulls that. That's interesting. 
We could try that with the Bewilder Beast. I mean, we're going to need a lot bigger than this, but we could try it. The arc will be powerful. Whoa. Where'd he go? Did he just disappear? Okay, let me just take a closer look at this. Okay, seems pretty standard. Alright, I guess that's what we're going to have to do, guys. We could have a double towing system. Oh, worst day ever. No, I can't believe it. I can't believe I fell in the lava. That is so newbie. It's dangerous working around lava like this. Oh, I'd say Fire Nation guards always fall in because they're so stupid. All right. But guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave it up. We know what we need to do. We need to build big towing systems for the Bewilder Beast. And then they can just chill out. But we're going to need a lot of power. A lot of power in the arc. Maybe I could find some sort of power generator that will make us go fast. Actually, I didn't even think of that. How am I going to... We don't have any rowers. Uh-oh. Okay. Another problem we've got to fix, guys. But that can wait until tomorrow. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. We're getting there. We're nearly ready to leave the island. I'm going to have to figure out a power system. And we're going to have to figure out the these big... I don't know what, they, what you call them. I don't want to call them cages. I could call them like rafts. Big rafts for the Bewilderbeast. Alright guys, hope you did enjoy and I'll see you soon for some more. Bye!